Hey guys, Tim here, and no, this is not a cigar review, but if you want cigar reviews, or just, you know, put that in the comment, I review cigars, I don't mind smoking a cigar, <laughs> but uh, no, this is uh, my top guns for, um, you know, SHTF, uh, without rule of law, boogaloo, zombies, whatever you want to call it, really, just... Stuff goes sideways, stuff gets bad, you want some guns stocked up, and these are the ones that I recommend. Uh, going from most important to least important. First off is a good solid category, and also I'm going to throw in the categories, and you can put whatever gun you want in here, but I'm just going to throw in what I recommend or what I will go with. Uh, first off is, uh, first category is uh, 22, and sorry I don't have any guns to show you. Don't have any guns here, but I'm just going to go with what I recommend and what I have experience with. So, right off the bat, uh, first thing I'm going to recommend is a good solid and you can just imagine me holding a gun here, a uh, good solid Ruger 1022, 22 long rifles freaking everywhere. You can pretty much uh, drop anything from small game up to a deer, um, maybe a moose if you're desperate with good shot placement. I haven't tried it, and I don't recommend trying it, but... You know, uh, there are guys in Alaska who've taken down uh, Caribou with a 22. So, solid uh, 22, you can pretty much take down whatever game you need to. So, I go with a Ruger 1022. That's my preference because they're freaking, they are durable. They are extremely freaking durable. Because uh, there are guy, there are guys who you know have. Ruger 1022s from the 50s where you can go in, pop in a 10 round mag and shoot them all day long. Uh, next gun, well, it's technically uh, two guns, uh, so it's a new word, 2-3, uh, uh, because they kind of go together in my opinion. Um, and people typically try to lump these two guns in the same category. I throw them in different categories because I think they do different things. So uh, you go with, and you can put this in any order you want with these two, uh, two, three. Um, a good, like, 9mm handgun or a good, like, revolver. Like, a good handgun and a good revolver. And I think your handgun should complement your revolver. So you can go with, let's say, a Glock 9mm or a 40 caliber Glock. You might want to go with like a 357 Magnum revolver if you don't have that can take 9mm moon clips. If you don't have a 9mm upper, um, you can also shoot 380, I guess, out of a 357 with moon clips. Be a little iffy I guess but you can probably do it uh so it's got complement it so like you can have like your 9 millimeter like SIG 3 P20 with a 40 caliber upper and a let's say um Smith & Wesson or a, a Smith & Wesson in 460 Magnum or a Taurus Judge in 454 Casul like the Taurus Judge Magnum That'd be a good option because you can run 45 ACP with moon clips. So you got most of the ammo on the market already covered. Um, or you can go with, you know, 45, like 1911, and a Taurus Judge Magnum or a Smith & Wesson 460 Magnum. So you can take all your 45 ACP brass and reload it with black powder, pop it on moon clips, and you have ammo. Might be a good option. Uh, you can do the same thing with 9 mil. I mean, black powder, you can always make black powder. Black powder is not 
really hard to make. So, um, remember, 2-3, your autoloader should always complement your revolver. I think revolvers and autoloaders should be separate in terms of categories. They're not, but just my opinion. Next thing on the list is a good solid shotgun, so you can go with a good uh, Mossberg 500. That'd be what I recommend. That's actually what I own. Again, just imagine me holding a Mossberg 500 with a 28-inch barrel. When I'm back and I have my guns, I will redo this video. So, yeah, Mossberg 500 is a good option. You can have two separate barrels, like one for self-defense, one for hunting. Or you can go the route that I personally would do with a Mossberg uh, 940 with the 24-inch uh, barrel, because I think 24 inches is short enough to defend myself with, but long enough that I can hunt with. It's just my opinion. Uh, next thing on the list is a good solid AR-15. I have a Ruger AR-556. Again, just imagine me holding it. I don't have it with me, sadly, but, I mean, yeah, Ruger AR-556 is a pretty good rifle, and you can put whatever AR-15 you want in there. Ideally, I'd go with, like, a what would stunner do rifle, but I'm still happy with my Ruger AR-556. It's still a good rifle. Um, next thing on the li list is a 308 battle rifle. And some people would put hunting rifle in there. I put battle rifle. I mean, you can kill deer with a 5.56 round, so... And it's without rule of law, so it doesn't matter what you use. But I... In terms of, like, 762 by 51 millimeter NATO or 308, I go with an uh, M1A or an M14 variant. Um, the reason being is it's still in U.S. service. You can still get parts, mags, all that good stuff. So, that's just my opinion. I think it's a little bit better. And, yes, there are better battle rifles on the market, but... That's just the one I would go with. And yes, I do own an M1A, so just imagine me holding an M1A. And later down the road, I'll do a remaster of this video with some of with my guns. Sorry about it, and sorry I rambled a little bit. But hopefully you guys are safe, and take care. And I hope this video was informative, or at least um, entertaining. So... Have a good day, guys. Talk to you next time.